Welcome, Tauruses. <laughs> you Tauruses, I don't know what is going on with you Tauruses. All right, this is the business reading for you Taurus. This is going to be a wonderful, wonderful period. Oh, it's wonderful, um, Tauruses. You have a, a positive nine of pentacles, Tauruses. Nine of pentacles. So, Tauruses, um, wow. <laughs> I so love this for you, Tauruses, because let's look at the cross before we move in. You're moving in with the Nine of Pentacles, standing strong, business is looking good, money is coming in. Um, you are picking the fruits of your labors. So you, Tauruses, whether you're a business person or you have been self-employed, um, you're going to be picking the fruits of your labor. This looks really powerful, really good. It's a month for it. Go for it. So, then we look at this cross. And what we see in the cross is the Ten of Swords. Jupiter coming out. People are recognizing some on um, the Zarba situation that was played. And people are now recognizing and seeing the truth about what was happening and transpiring. Oh, oh, oh. So Taurus says, what we're looking at, we're really seeing the truth. We're recognizing what was happening. So a lot of you Taurus is on the work floor. You're no more blind because you have the energy of the sun. And you have revealed a whole lot of information, a whole lot of secrets, a whole lot of situation that was transpiring. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm showing you this because a lot of you Taurus is you are the ruler of the, um, the, the world of business. Okay. So a lot of people, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or the ruler, you guys run the business. You Tauruses are really on top of your game when you're running a business or you're a supervisor or you're at work. And that's why some of you Taurus don't like to work with people and prefer to be self-employed because you're aware of what is needed to run a business. Okay. You were born with that energy that you were born with that characteristic. Oh. I love the story, sis. This is a beautiful reading. So when we look at the nine, when we look at the nine of pentacles, what is the energy of the nine of pentacles? The energy of the nine of pentacles is that you are um, bringing back, you are the money man, okay? You are the bank. You are um, the situation. The nine of pentacles is Venus in Virgo. Venus in Virgo, ladies and gentlemen, never forget. Venus in Virgo. Vigo, Venus is your sister sign in Virgo. This is powerful. This is really powerful. This is really positive improvement of emotional and finance in your world. So Venus in, and in Virgo is a wonderful line of energy. This is going to be improving your financial situation in this period. So, whoa, congratulations. All right. You know what it is when the energy of the eye princess comes in the reverse. We don't have to ask you. The eye princess is, uh, is ruled by the moon. Okay. So the eye princess, the moon is ruled by the moon. So what is the moon about? Secrecy. So some sort of a secrecy is coming out. Use your intuition, um, Taurus. This is a period for you, Taurus, to use your intuition. Okay. With emphasis on silence introspect. It is a Feminine, a very, very feminine time, but um, it's as if we're moving from out of the masculine energy in the feminine energy. But in order for you to be um, really uh, um, aligned um, with the system of you moving from out of one direction to the other, you need to balance the masculine and feminine mind. As you do that, Taurus, in this four weeks period, you can see this four weeks period. This is where you come in. This is what you're going to be accumulating in this month. When you leave, you're going to be having some sort of a struggle, some sort of a problem. But if you notice, it's not going in a month, in the four weeks that is coming up. It is in this period where you're recognizing some dishonest game that was played. You're showing up the situation. People are recognizing and using the sword of truth in order to balance the situation out. So what we have here um, is the moon in Libran. 
There you can also see the moon. What is the high princess? This is also governed by the moon. So this is intuition and secrecy around the corporation institution. Moon is in Libran. And when the moon is in Libran, a whole lot of information is going to be coming out. But guess what? You Tauruses are going to be very, very successful. You Tauruses are going to be coming out of the situation successful. Um, because you Taurus is recognizing that someone, you weren't aware that someone else was having their little games. The energy of the sun, its association with cooperation and group work and uh, partnerships. So the third week, anything of association and group work and partnership, yes, yes, yes. So this month, the third week and the fourth week is going to be powerful. And when I say powerful, it is about the sun and Jupiter. Okay, the sun and Jupiter together. This is like unexpected luck, um, unexpected success that is going to be coming out, unexpected luck. So this is going to be a really, really powerful four weeks period because huge success. And, and in the fourth week, Jupiter is coming in. Because that is the Wheel of Fortune. And you've, you know, the energy of the Wheel of Fortune is always Jupiter. And the Sun with um, Jupiter together, that is explaining to a lot of you that, hey, um, fortune is on your side. Luck is going to be coming in, okay? Associated with the chance, uh, destiny, and prosperity. So this is going to be a very, very lucky period. And you got to understand, when these two are together with each other, Trust me, um, but expect a lot of jealousy to come um, with this. So if you're recognizing this four weeks period, it's going to be a period that uh, bring you a lot of uh, um, 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 prosperity because that is Jupiter um, that is bringing you prosperity. OK, Venus in Virgo, Venus in Virgo. But here is Jupiter. Jupiter is the luck. So this is going to be huge success is coming in for you, Tauruses, um, in the spirit, at work, in your business, whatever your endeavor is, recognize that this is happening. This finding the inner strength is that some of you have to find the inner strength when you recognize a, a secret that was kept. There was secrets that was kept and the secrets that was kept is coming out and is showing up. And I see people are recognizing this. So. The Knight of Swords energy is that some of you um, are dealing because the Knights, remember the Knight move fast, okay? This is like information. Um, the Knight of Swords or the Prince of Swords or um, the Princess of Swords, these are people between the ages of 18 and 45, okay? And whatever these people, they, they are, it's air of hair, Okay, so the Knight of Swords is air of air. Okay, these people are creative and intuitively. Okay, they resolve situation. They're like the chariot leads by the eagle, indicating dramatic change or communication. And whatever is happening and transpiring, some sort of a secrecy was hold, was held and held against some of you on the work floor or your business. And now you are recognizing the horrible, horrible play, the energy of the Ten of Swords, the horrible play that was happened and transpired. And I see a Libran is recognizing that there was some unfair games that was played. OK, so a lot of you are going to be finding out something about a Libran young man. OK. And you're going to be recognizing some sort of a secrets about a Libran young man. And you're going to be um, 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 putting, putting, it's as if you're connecting the dots about a Libran young man. Whoever this Libran young man is, you're going to be recognizing that this person wasn't speaking the truth. Whoever this young Libran young man is, you are going to be recognizing Tauruses, this person was not speaking the truth. A whole lot of information is going to be coming out about this uh, Libran young man. And whatever the secrets, uh, um, because it's as if some of you are going to be recognizing, this could be someone who you were, who works for you, someone who is an employer and a employee. And what you're recognizing about this, uh, um, the secrets about this person, 
and what is happening and con and and, and ha um, is that some sort of an information is coming out of about this person so it's, it's as if a lot of you Tauruses work with this Libran young man and whoever this Libran young man is you are going to be finding out the secrets that this Libran young man has been keeping and holding okay and it has to do with uh, it's as if some of you Tauruses was not uh, um you were not uh, um you know that there was something about this Libran young man and you know it has been puzzling you Tauruses for a while if it's a it can be a man or it can be a woman okay whoever this person is it can be a man or a woman but it was puzzling you you know that something is not totally um completely correct about this person but it was very puzzling and you decided you know something um, it will come out, you know, if you are playing a game or um, whether or not you're two-faced, I will recognize this. If you notice, Tauruses, the only people that is in this is this Libran man or Libran woman. And it's as if this person, you, 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 you're you on top of your game because you're recognizing something. And, you know, at work and how this person have um, money and how this person have been having extra money. It's because you are recognizing um, that this person was paid. Um, this person is doing something on the side. It's as if you recognize how this person throw money around and you're, um, you know, you start to look and see if this person is working on the side, using your business, using your company to work on the side in order to accumulate money or wealth for themselves. And that is a return it in their business. And you start to, focus on this person somehow something about this person drive you it's as if this person um you know you're not seeing exactly what it is you're not recognizing exactly what it is but you're recognizing that this person jives you and whatever is happening and transpiring this person jives you to the part that you don't want to have a conversation with this person if you it, it, you prefer not to have a conversation with this person because it's as if this person think that they're always right. And nothing, um, you know, you Tauruses are like, you know, and nothing I hate than someone is trying to, um, you know, be right all the time because that is just going to be irritating me. And there was just something about a young liberal person, a male or a female that really jags some of you and... Some of you recognize how horrible, horrible um, that this person have created a whole lot of issues and every time is this and every time is that and they always want to, um, this is the right way or that is the right way or whatever is transpiring. And you are now recognizing, oh, 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 okay. So the celebrant think that they are so uh, smart, whatever is transpiring, you're recognizing that's this liberant, um think they're so smart or whatever it is it is just dragging you um and you are going to be finding out in this period um that you were right about this liberal you're going to be recognizing that this liberal was a bit off cast um and uh, you're going to be very victorious and successful because whatever the information is that is coming out you're going to be extremely 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 exceedingly um, recognizing the horrible situation that this Libran has created and what this Libran has done and how um, you were right. So it's as if this four week period is saying, listen to your intuition, okay? And it's definitely a Libran, okay? Um, if you notice, there's nothing else that is around. It's definitely a Libran. And it's as if some of you are their managers or they work in your company and you are like, hey, this person is very off. There's something about it. And as if in the second week, boom, there it is. Secret is out. People know and recognize so who this person is and what was happening in transpiring. So the energy of the strength is that, uh, wow, you got back your strength because you recognize that this pe person is always, oh, this is not good. That is not good. This is what I want. That is what. I, and you're like, you have been irritated for a very long time. So, um... A Taurus is, I wish I could stay, but I can't. So, um, you, you know, show your love by thumbs up. 
I am going to be moving forward. I would love to see you on the other side. If not, I am saying namaste until next time.